Hey, this is Johnny with Johnny's BMW DIYs. Today I have uh, my uh, 09 BMW 335i. I've got a uh, driver's seat that's looking a little bit tattered. Uh, the uh, leather's still good, but the uh, coating of dye is basically coming off. So I've got this uh, Doc Bailey's kit that I'm going to give a whirl to uh, uh, touch this thing up and see how it comes out. Uh, I've already, uh, when I took the lid off, I had, uh, had to uh, peel the plastic cover off and dabbed it on there. So right here already, I just dabbed what dye was uh, on the sponge from that uh, on there and it's already, uh, it's not, it didn't look killer but it, it's definitely it hadn't even been buffed yet or anything so <laughs> uh, pretty uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty good result so I'm going to uh, dab a little on here stuff is kind of thick so I uh, do shake it up but uh, also don't put too much on there because you might uh, you might want to use it sparingly on your first coat if you want to do multiple coats so, sorry this is handheld if I'm a little shaky. I'm going to try and stay off of the stitching. Because it'll just not look the same if I dye the stitching black. Okay, I've got one coat on there. Again, it hadn't been buffed. I can still see the wear through it. Uh, uh, so I'm going to put several coats on it so I can cover that up. Couldn't really avoid staying off the stitching here. Uh, tried not to saturate it though. I'm going to put light coats so it doesn't look like the stitching is all black. Um, but uh, at the same time had to get between the stitching in between there because there were some wear spots in there. Also I'm um, touching up the edge of the bottom of the seat. Of course the other the rest of the seats fine it just needs to be cleaned obviously once I finish this it's not gonna match very well but after I buff it a little bit I think it's gonna uh, dull out a bit and will blend in well so I'm gonna let this dry for a little while and probably about 15 minutes in the Sun here and uh, put another coat on it okay so my first coat has dried I'm not really going to buff it. You can see it's still maybe a little bit damp right through here. I'm going to apply a second coat now, but as you can see, as it dried, it kind of matted out uh, a little bit even more than the seat is. But once I buff it, they uh, it shines up a little. So I'm going to put a little bit uh, more on there and uh, see how that turns out. Okay, second coat applied. This time. I dabbed it more than wiped it. I think you're probably supposed to dab it more than anything anyway because there are some cracks in there. Looks a little globby right now, but I know it's gonna dry in there. So even that spot there, I'm gonna need to dab more on the next coat. I'll probably do a third coat. Uh, Cause I wanna get all these little cracks kind of filled in uh, without it being too globby. I also put a light second coat on this side bolster here. So we'll let that dry up and uh, check back in a little bit. This is after the second coat has dried. Looks a little weird and dull, but again, I globbed it on there this time. So I'm gonna buff it a little bit, and then I am gonna put a third coat on there. Just buffing by, I mean, I'm uh, taking this rag that came with the kit and just kind of wiping it off. And when I did that, a lot of the uh, texture came back and a little bit of the gloss. So. All right, so again, it's uh, still needs to be built up in my opinion. Uh, try and get enough dye in these cracks that they uh, don't look like raw leather. So I'm gonna keep uh, piling it on, so to speak. Okay, uh, again, I dabbed another coat on there, kind of thick. Just want to make sure that even these little spots between the uh, stitching get a good amount in between them. All right, I'll let that dry and check it. Here we are after the first coat, or the third coat.
really looking a lot better. Sorry, I'm trying to lean out of the light so you can see the results. They're uh, definitely looking better. It's getting rid of the the dry spots that were there. I'm still going to layer on a couple more coats because I, I really want to get it uh, nice and thick on there so that this is the most the biggest wear spot on the whole car or on the whole seat uh, so I want to have plenty on there so I'm gonna put on another coat in case I got a third coat on here glistening again all wet uh, did dab a little of the excess uh, back on there no sense in letting it dry in the sponge uh, so check on it here in a little while after four coats end result it's looking pretty good uh, the area right here was very bare I had some real dry spots in here there's a lot of texture because it is filling that area in where it was cracking and getting kind of like suede but um, now it's starting to look a little bit more cohesive and uh, I think I will put one fifth coat on here to try and get it even deeper so that I won't have to do this for a while. Make sure you let it dry real good between coats. Got a nice even fifth coat on here. Did go ahead and I've been putting the excess on my uh, little bolster that sticks out. Probably gonna end up doing the whole seat but for demonstration purposes we're sticking to these bolsters. I'll probably go on and do the whole rest of the car knowing me but uh, this was my main focus trying to get that repaired so that it doesn't continue on doesn't look very good shiny I agree it's very uh, messy looking but uh, once it goes flat again I think it's gonna look real nice with this last coat on there I'm probably gonna stop after this one